Welcome back, super friends and super family. I'm Nick, and today I'm reacting to Angel, Season 2, Episode 19. So I just wrapped up with Season 5 of Buffy with a dramatic ending. Extremely dramatic. Spoiler alert, no more Buffy in the show called Buffy. But I'm very excited to now switch over to Angel. We had a nice long run of Buffy episodes. Now we have a run of Angel episodes until the season finale. I'm very interested to see how they wrap things up. I'm a, I'm hoping for a big showdown between Darla and Angel because to me that's really the central conflict of this season, although there's been a lot of other things going on, obviously. I'm assuming these next couple episodes are really going to be setting up for the finale of this season. But as always, if you want to watch the full unedited reactions that is up on Patreon, along with future episodes of both Season 6 of Buffy and future episodes of Angel as well, if you care to support the channel, let's just get right into it. Angel Angel Season 2, Episode 19. <laughs> Maybe when hell freezes over. Oh, nice little fancy dinner. Okay. Mm. Oh, dang. That was a cool reveal. I like that. Well, I want to get out and be one of them now. Celebrate Courtney's good news. It's just a commercial. Just oh, nice. That's exciting. Cheers, Cordy. And make a ton of cash. What he said, but don't leave us when you get famous. <laughs> Still the proud owner of the mind-shattering, ever more debilitating vision. That's true. How is she ever going to have her acting career with that curse? I mean, it ought to be pretty good. It's delicious, but that's not what I feel guilty about. What does she feel guilty about? I remember when a few bob got you a good meal, a bottle, and a tap. Oh, here we go. Back in my day when I was walking to school. It's where we manly men will gather around and kill it to death. Kill it to death. I like that. Oh, come on. Don't leave Angel out of it. You think we should get a flamethrower? Yes, please. Yes, please. Get a flamethrower. Of course, if we wind up in a tight space, we could burn each other. Right. Right. That's a risk that's worth taking. In Battle Shroud, woven from the skin of dead children. What? You don't think I can read the markings of Angel, are you losing it? it? Looks a little different up close. Oh my gosh. Thousand dollar Laura Mina. <laughs> no one in the restaurant staff, like, interfered at all. <laughs> he can't control himself. He's, um... Slow blood sugar. People in this restaurant are chill. That was a very mild reaction from everybody. It was from a distance. It really looked, let's just eat and be on our way. Angel, do you need some glasses like Wesley? What's going on? Mm. Moo? Some sort of cow monster? No, no, no. She's sick. The shame is coming yeah. up. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jeez. I'll take that off the bill, right? <laughs> they better i mean what kind of restaurant is this or the food is that gross i do wonder ultimately if cordy is going to be able to uh become an actress like by the end of the show possibly and retire you know it's kind of like buffy too right we're always wondering buffy you know assuming she comes back from the grave somehow i wonder if there's any chance buffy can eventually retire and be you know live a normal life hello father happy birthday oh day how are you I want to see Wesley's dad. That could be interesting. I have news. I've been put in charge of our group. You got a little promotion here. Well, as permanent as these things. What's wrong? No, I certainly won't be fired. Uh, I can see that. Well, yes. I was that one time, yes. Don't need to bring that up. Come on, be happy for him. Yes, I'd forgotten. Thank you. Dang. Does anyone in the Buffyverse have good parents other than Buffy herself? I hope it will be different. No one can bring you down, though, in this moment, like, I feel like uh, a judgmental parent could, right? It's his birthday. He sends his greetings to everyone in Tinseltown. Does he? I hope this commercial shoot goes well. Demons, stay out of this. Please, let Cordy make some money. It's fake sunlight, Angel, so you're okay, right? It's like this is the closest he can get. What are you doing here? <laughs> Fantasizing. In your vision, did the hacker do Shh. Is that the director's really? coming? Yeah, don't ruin this for Cordy. The wardrobe. I need to see it. Lose the robe, princess. Jeez, what is wrong with him? Turn around. Oh my gosh. Talk about a commentary on Hollywood. Angel, you're not going to say anything? I mean, I guess he doesn't want to ruin this for her, right? Circles under her eyes. She looks like a refugee from an abused women's shelter. Excuse me? Do you want to sleep with her? Of course you don't. You're out of line. Yes. Get security. Angel. Who the hell do you think you are, huh? Yeah. Do you want me to rip that guy's head off for you? Please. Please, Angel. Please. Rip his head right off his body. I can Yes, I want to see it. Full R-rated violence, too. I have to ask you a question. 
What? I swear. Did he eat his victim whole or did he just rip out the liver? What? I have to know which kind it was so I can track it down and kill it. I hate my whole life. <laughs> Can she answer the question quickly? I mean, I guess not. The Hakla, descended from the Cleansing Order of Demons, can weigh as much- This is the Wikipedia page. Only to feed and mate, often simultaneously. What? <laughs> Carefully timed facial tics, not dissimilar to our own Morse code. Tics? Similar to Morse code. I meant how do we go about killing it? Yeah, let's go to brass tacks. What's y'all doing here? Got a situation? Got some backup this time. Yeah, I owe you men my life. Only reason you guys shot is because you had our backs. And hey, how you feeling? Much better. Much, much better. Crap's already set. We know the drill. Everything's in motion. You taught them well. Ackler's living on the North Shore of Lake Hollywood. We better hurry. They got a 5K race oh, start. dang. Why don't they help both help each other out, right? Or it has to all be done at once. I'm through. I'll hook up with you guys at base camp. We'll head out together. Yeah, whatever, G. It's wrong, man. Dang, I'm so disappointed. It's tough, though. We're both fighting the good fight, but you can't be in more than one place, right? Hey, I'm LA director, you know, shooting a commercial, so I must be the center of the universe guy? <laughs> Flimsy swimsuit that covers, like, nothing. Angel so protective, like a father. <laughs> Talk about someone uh, working their dream job here. What kind of demon is that one, man? What the... the heck is that one come on not not while the show's going on dude oh he just wanted to run away everything's fine nothing to worry about free drinks for everybody does he know who that is it's the only suntan lotion oh it's a suntan commercial okay <laughs> what what now what now director isn't there something i don't we think you should take you this to job play Ophelia. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad for Cordy. Did she quit? Or has it just been that hard of a shoot, putting up with all that? Comfortable with your use of the word if here, are you? He was trying to help you. He's about to devour a group of power walkers. It's horrible. Okay, well, good timing. I saw it in my stupid vision, remember? No, not the hacklar, the power walkers. <laughs> <laughs> Why not just run for a shorter time? Oh my gosh. What exactly is the definition of power walking? Just what it sounds like? Walking fast? Or are there other ways to do it? Apparently she felt I disrespected the Hacklar's culture by killing it. What? The Hacklar culture of a monster that's trying to kill you? Was that lady on drugs? It's called a Draken. Draken? You won't find it in your book. Does Wesley know what it is? Oh no. Right in the middle of my Stevie Wonder tune. Totally threw me off. Yeah, bad timing. Bad timing. And, and this part I can't stress enough. Kill it. You must. Where is it? How dangerous is this thing? It's getting pretty hungry by now. Guessing it eats people? Oh, we got our first two munchies. Oof. Oh, just eating them right then and there. I mean... Number three? Oh no. Is this gonna be a different vision? Oh. Food poisoning. I don't know, it's a vision. <laughs> Possibly a vision? Yeah, yeah, it's a vision. This is something totally different. We have so many different things going on this episode, right? An opening behind her, uh, something magical. Uh... Was it a portal too? Was it the same thing? A portal? Like the one from which- What else is coming through this portal? It, it's really quite a break. You coming? Right. Yeah, tag along, why not? What else are you gonna do? Thought you'd never ask. I mean, he's totally keeping something from them, but what? And why wouldn't he tell Angel? They seem, you know, they're close enough to be friends at this point. What's wrong? They're upset. Or did something else happen? Dang, why is everyone? I mean, did someone die or something? You guys should have waited. Oh, shoot. Did they make him drink? We don't know. Oh, great. But they can't, I, you really can't blame Gunn, right? I mean, I understand why they're a little bit upset, but he's doing other important things. Elton's in town next month. What do you say? You, me, back row seat? Yes, come on. I defy you not to feel like the only other person in the room. <laughs> what? Uh, hi. What? I never perform without checking out the space first. Get a feel for the room. With my makeup on, yes. <laughs> 
flip over your costume. It looks so authentic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. A little scary for kids, no? She's brown hair, got down to here, wears glasses, pretty. Sorry. So I guess she doesn't work here, she just visited. An apple, I think. An apple? Wait, she knows that? Fred disappeared five years ago. They never found her. Was the vision from that long ago? One minute she's cataloging in the foreign language section, and the next minute she's gone. She was kidnapped through the portal, I bet you. Maybe by that same demon that they're looking for, maybe? What exactly are we looking for? I don't know. Anything suspicious? Fabulous colors. I'm tempted to just show up tomorrow morning with Harry Potter. <laughs> Please do. Oh my gosh, that'd be a great scene if they show that. This is the book that Fred was holding in my vision. Careful, what if it opens the portal? Curve derp blurp. Warn them! If there's something to be warning, oh come on. Then lift from plitz. Oh no. Where did they just get sucked into? Oh no, someone came out. <laughs> Fighting right away. Lando? Oh, they know each other. Are they brothers or something? But just because I know his name doesn't mean you can't knock him unconscious. Please continue. <laughs> Though I generally don't go by that because Green. Huh? Huh? Lauren Green. Lauren Green? Who is that? I've heard of the show Bonanza. 15 years on the air not mean anything to anyone here? It's the cowboy show, right? What is this place? It's called Los Angeles. <laughs> well, this is a library. Is it a prison? Are these your captors? Whoa. Los Angeles is a prison, yes. Land Doc Mar of the Deathwalk Clan. There's <laughs> that Deathwalk Clan thing again. Does that I like his intro? I mean that the two of you are yeah, cousins. Oh, cousins. Okay. It's a great mystery to our clan. Long story, boring ending. I want to hear the whole story. Let's go. Managed to find their way around. Were you abducted into this world as I was? No. Was he? We find a path back to our home, Krevlo and Swath of the Deathwalk Clan. I don't think he wants to go home. He's happy here. Your little green boo, does she? She rips your images into tiny pieces. Dang. Butchers the pigs and has their remains scattered for the dog. <laughs> that is so extreme. No wonder he ran away from home. I really don't want to hear about our little family issues. I do want to hear all the details. Let's hear about the cowardice and shame. Okay. Have we hear the full story over some Italian food? Draken nearby? I will assist in the kill. Find your own Draken. <laughs> All that is required is to pierce it with a weapon dipped in thromite. In thromite? Or run it through with a sword. Or electrocute him with, let's say, 50,000 volt charge. All sounds good. I can track the drunken for you. You can. How? <laughs> I do want to learn more, though. You should have waited for me. I should have. We've been waiting on you for months, bro. I mean, come on. It's not like he's been, like, on vacation, just chilling out, like he ran away from the good fight. But they do need every man they can get over here, so I get out so hard for them. Draken has consumed. It will be at maximum power. Oh, fantastic. Only good and evil. Black and white, no gray. No music, no art. No music or art? Fighting for justice. Boring. You got a problem? Solve it with a sword. I mean, Angel might like that universe, actually. Can you imagine living in a place like that? Not really. It's such an interesting look on Angel's face there. Last time we went chasing after him on a hunt, you got shot. Point taken. Yeah, Wesley wouldn't forget that anytime soon. We're missing something here, Wesley. I do get that feeling, too. We're chasing after this monster, which is good and all, but we're missing something. Yeah, trust Cordy's instincts here. Just the L.A. and me coming out, I guess. The same Krevlo and Swath of the Deathwalk Clan. Does he have to say the full title every time? How are you supposed to joust someone when you partially agree with their point of view? <laughs> Food? People. Oh, you mean people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, this is where the Draken came. Yep. I am sure. Looks like a demonic gorilla a little bit. To be able Enough to... of your words! You're just gonna rush it. It's not really a virtue with my people. Clearly. <laughs> I don't blame them for acting, though. It's like Wesley feels a little bit indecisive right now. You're hurt. Fetch my sword. You've been poisoned. Oh, dang. Powerful venom. Deadly to my people. Oh, just to so their people. Okay. Is there an antidote? Only back in our world. Send him back, quick! <laughs> dang, I'm so surprised it just, like, runs away to go get its food. It must be really hungry. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Dang, it's so quiet, man. Look at that huge lump on its back. Get her out. I'll find the drug. Or it's gonna find you guys. Is splitting up the right call here? I can be food. I don't know if it eats vampires. I think it would have gone for you. Uh, where are you? It might target Wesley though. Wesley is human. 
Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Imagine that works. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Well, you found her. Dang, she's quick. Okay, be a little bit scared. Dang, Wesley just froze, shoot. I feel like that talk with his dad really made him second guess himself. Oh, nice. They just ate it? <laughs> Dang. Oh, nice throw. Is that enough? Is it dead? That was fun. That's pretty cool. Lori, you will not have. You are the only one here who can officiate. Just send him back so you can be healed. How can you be sure? I can't. I, I just am. Just trust her. Don't ask me how I know. I just know. Is it just her intuition or is it something she knows through the powers that be, you know? Hopefully they can rescue that girl too. You know, who was sucked up by the portal. Don't blame yourself, Gun. It's really not your fault. I mean, it is tragic, but. All you have to do is read a lot from it. To defeat the Draken, you must be a great and noble warrior. He is. He is. You know, try. <laughs> Angel's like, what could I say? What could I say? Tell her I threw myself into the sacrificial canyons of Treyland. <laughs> we will meet again someday. Oh God, I hope not. <laughs> they do need some vowels of that book though, right? <laughs> Imagine speaking that language. Will it work? I was kind of hoping it would send the girl back, you know? What say we all forget this ever happened? Huh? I'm down with that. Full Men in Black memory wipe. Cordy? Did it take Cordy? Cordy? Oh my gosh, what, was she too close to the portal? What happened? She didn't read it out loud. Why would it take her? Oh, great. You've got to be kidding me. You are in Jurassic Park. Maybe. We got two sons. Oh crap. <laughs> We're gonna end it like that? Dang, this is like a two part episode. I mean, as if her day wasn't bad enough, man. All right, well, that is Angel Season 2, Episode 19. That was an interesting episode. I feel like we had a lot of different storylines going on, and then obviously we kind of left off with a cliffhanger, with things not being fully concluded, with Cordelia in a different realm, on a different planet, in a different place. I don't know why the portal chose her. Like I said, was she standing too close? Is there something else going on? Did they mess up the magic? Is this all just a huge manipulation by the powers that be? I don't know, but I, I am curious to see how they wrap that up. Is that going to be something that takes up the majority of the next episode, like rescuing Cordy and getting her back to our realm? back to LA, which already is a bit of a nightmare for Cordy as we saw this episode, or is it just going to be something that is explained, like she's already back with the team next episode, or they quickly get her and then we go on to other things. I'm not too sure. But it was an interesting episode. Like I said, many different storylines going on. I mean, we have Gunn and he's kind of dealing with you know, I, I get it. It's it's difficult, right? It's not like Gunn was just working a regular job before he joined Angel Investigations or Wesley Investigations. I guess it's Angel Investigations, even though Wesley is the new CEO, right? They kept the brand name. You know, we just see how he's kind of torn because, you know, he was already working for a group of humans, fighting the good fight, battling off vampires, losing people. I mean, we've seen how much Gunn has lost already since his character was introduced into the show here. But but it does put him in a really like kind of an impossible catch-22 type of situation because like I said I, I really think Gunn shouldn't beat himself up at all or feel guilty. Look in a war things are going to happen. Friends are going to pass away. That's just what is going to happen when you're battling demons and vampires and like I said Gunn is ultimately fighting the good fight and I think at least to me I think he's most valuable helping out with angel investigations. Like I think their missions are extremely important. You know they've definitely saved the world a few times over here, but you could see why maybe some of the, his friends and where he came from, just those people, don't fully understand it possibly, especially if Gunn isn't that open about the missions they're working on for angel investigations, which actually would make sense. Like there's a lot of security reasons why you shouldn't tell everyone about the work that is being done with Angel, Cordy, and Wesley. But at the same time, because of that, I'm sure some people maybe are suspicious that he's just 
afraid now or tired of fighting or he found a better paying job. I'm not sure, but I feel like that's really the reason for all those kind of judgmental stares when he first, you know, joined in with the group when his friend had died. But I feel bad for him. And I'm kind of curious if this is going to set up maybe an exit for Gunn. I'm not sure. Like, I, I kind of hope not because I really like him as part of the group dynamic. And, and I really would be curious to see, like, where his character goes. But we already kind of got rid of Lindsay in the show. If we lose Gunn by the end of the season, that would make me sad. And I do hope if they do go that direction that at least we have a nice, satisfying wrap-up for his character. Because he really deserves that. And I kind of hope they don't go that direction just because there's so many more things I feel like they could do with his character as part of the group. But I don't know. I'm not sure if they're setting up for that or we're just seeing some of the conflict going on where Gunn can't be everywhere all at once. And then we got to learn a little bit more about the host, about uh, Lorne, right? And we got his cousin coming through the portal from another dimension. We got to hear, you know, clearly uh, Lorne is kind of running away from things. The way I feel like a lot of people who move from other places in the world or in the country to Los Angeles. So it's kind of fitting in a way that Lorne himself is coming from a different society, one that values honor and fighting and uh, very uh, like a warrior type Spartan-like culture. And I I'm really happy for Lorne, you know, that he escaped that situation because his personality, like he's a cool character. I really, really like him. He's a lot of charisma, but he's also bringing a lot of value similar to Gunn in his own unique way, like helping people. Plus he's just so much happier. Like of course, you couldn't put a, a demon or a person with that type of personality in a world where there's no art and music. That would just be death to their soul. So I'm happy for him. I'm also happy to learn more about him and to kind of see, I don't know, it's always interesting when you see a character who's very assured and in control most of the time, like I look at Lorne. Um, you know, get a little bit uncomfortable, you know, sometimes like maybe from someone they know from their past, like knows where they came from. Maybe they're like a little bit embarrassed or just running away from that. That's always interesting to see. And then of course we have Cordy dealing with, you know, the, 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 the cliche kind of Hollywood horrible mess that is an actor's life, but it's a cliche for a reason. It's the reality for a lot of actors, right? Especially, I feel like it was more common. I'm sure it still goes on now, but I feel like it was even more common back when this episode air for directors to treat actors and to treat women like that on set. But it's a really hard thing too, because as much as I'm sure me, the audience and Angel himself would like to just attack that director and give him what he deserves, you see the kind of impossible situation that someone who's pursuing their dream is put in, right? Because Cordy doesn't want that to happen because she wants so badly. She's worked so hard to try to become a successful actress that she's almost willing to pay that horrible price. And it's like, can you make that decision for her? I don't know. But it, it's hard to see Cordy go through that, especially when at the beginning of the episode, they're celebrating her big break. But it is really heartwarming to see like how protective Angel is of Cordy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think that was really the dynamic, especially if we go all the way back to like Buffy and Cord, you know, back with Angel and Buffy, like season one, season two, like I, that wasn't the dynamic at all. So it's so cool to see that growth and to see him really looking out for Cordy the way he would his daughter, right? But like I said, I'm very, I'm very, I hope the next episode really is like a two-part episode because they could do a lot of interesting things with Cordy now in a different, I'm assuming planet, right? She went through the portal. She's in a new planet. I don't think she went to the same place as Lauren's cousin did because he wasn't there with her, although maybe he did, and maybe they're going to have to go back and meet more of Lauren's family. But I think not. I think she's just in a different place, one with two sons and maybe a lot of different crazy creatures. So that could be a cool kind of rescue episode to connect to this one as well, but I'm excited to find out. But as always, if you want to watch along the full uncut reaction along with future episodes of Angel and episodes of season six of Buffy, that is all up on Patreon. That's the best way to support. Thank you so much to everyone who does thank you for watching and as always remember be active be mindful and be a hero